Guys, Eileen, thanks so much. Uh, we are Cookie Necklace. I'm Joe Gilliardi. That's Wyatt Unger. That's Clark Gonzalez. That's Charlie Henry. We're working on about a 40 second delay here, guys. We'll start putting words in the chat for to inspire us now. We truly appreciate the opportunity to be here. We appreciate you guys supporting live comedy. Thanks so much to High Wire Improv for having us on the show. We're super proud to be a part of the fantastic lineup tonight. Uh, if you don't know Cookie Necklace, we are based out of Annapolis, Maryland. If you've never seen us perform. We do short and long form improv comedy. So everything you see tonight is going to be made up on the spot. Uh, we're going to play a game for you similar to, to an improv game called Freeze Tag. This is how it works. So after we get a word from you all to inspire us in the chat, we're going to have a brief conversation about uh, the two, our two favorite words from the chat. Two of us are going to begin the opening scene. Eventually, someone will clap to enter or leave the scene. For example, Charlie. Freeze. Wyatt, leave. And a new scene would begin with whoever just entered. We may tell someone to come back or to cut forward or backward in time. Charles. Cut back to when Wyatt was in the scene. And that's it. That's how it works. So to get started, guys, we just need it. We're going to pick a couple of words out of the chat. Uh, we'll have a conversation based on our two favorites, and that's going to inspire everything you're about to see. Uh, looks like, uh, guys, the words in the chat we've got here are uh, hinge, dud, crinkle, nincompoop, factory, snowman. Nincompoop. Nincompoop is fantastic. Nincompoop. nincompoop has to be one, right? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Uh, did, uh, you, did you say electrician? Electrician, yeah. Yeah, so let's go with those. Ninkum, yeah, ninkum poop. Yeah, I I love the word ninkum poop. It's in Sleeping Beauty, and the reason that I know this is because when we were little, my youngest sister, who was like fucking friggin' three, she would call us ninkum poops because she watched it in Sleeping Beauty, and she would call my my older younger sister and I ninkum poops, and it was hysterical because she used it like a swear word. I remember ninkum poop is one of those like it's like one of those boomer words. And I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm 39, maybe I'm a boomer here. I don't know. But like, that's one of those words like, <laughs> like scoundrel or scallywag. You just don't. If scoundrel and Nick scallywag? What are you, scallywag. a musketeer? Yeah, I know. It's a, that's beyond boomer. That's like, that predates the boomers. <laughs> back, to, back to the pirates, the pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean. Oh God. I think a nincompoop electrician is uh, probably going to get your house burnt down. So that's not really, right? Yeah, um, so uh, my dad is a tile setter. He's a fantastic tile setter. He is, he's awesome at what he does. I could never do what he does. Um, and it's really funny because my dad will sometimes just like do things that I don't know how he knows how to do it. And it seems wildly unsafe to me, but he'll just be like, oh yeah, I rewired the, uh, the garage. And then I'm like, <laughs> I don't back up. I don't understand what are you talking about? And he was like, yeah, I just felt like the wall socket should be here. So <laughs> I moved it. And then, and it's just like, it's like insane because I see my dad with bare hands reaching into like holes in walls and pulling out wires. And I'm like freaking out thinking about like, do you have me in your will? Do you, do you <laughs> like, does you have life insurance and all these things And my dad's just like, I'm just pulling wires, son. And it's just like, it's crazy to me. Uh, hey, son. Yeah, Pa. I want to talk to you about something. I can uh, tell you that's something on your mind. Yeah, the reason I called you into the garage is uh, to talk to you about uh, using my tools, okay? I know you... Look, you're nine years old. You can't be, you can't be using my blowtorch. Okay, it's too dangerous. I just watched Home Alone. I was inspired. You were inspired by Home Alone, and that was that was the thing you took away, was the yeah. blowtorch. Yeah, the blowtorch, and uh, you know all the broken glass in the uh, the attic. You've been up there. I haven't been in the attic recently. Oh, don't go up there without shoes. I just heard you and mom talking about how we needed a better security system. You're welcome. Ow! Oh my God! Ow! Oh, it Ow. sounds like it's working. Oh! Ow! Sorry, Dave! 
I thought you got my, my email. You're, you're nine years old. You have email? Yeah. <laughs> on, my, on my smartphone. You know there's glass in your attic? Look, I think it's for the best if we just go sleep in a hotel tonight until all the booby traps have been taken apart. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, I got your email. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. When we leave for the hotel, we should not use any windows. Ow! Boys, I just got hit in the head with a can of paint by the... Sorry, Mom! Ah! Why would you do that? You wanted to finish the whole system. You got hit in the head with a full can of paint and you're fine? There were two more that missed me. Jeez, mom, that looks bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something to wrap up your, your head, okay? Hold on. Really? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god! <sighs> what is wrong? What? I don't understand. Why did you put a hot iron in the crawl space? Well, dad wasn't using it, and we, we had an opening. I didn't want to get breached. Bobby, look, as soon as we straighten all this out, you're in serious trouble. Serious trouble, mister? God, what else is around the corner? I wouldn't go around corners without one of these. Oh, so, Mr. This is my gun. Yeah, you got a gun, you got a mirror, and Dave, you got a uh, dog whistle. So just give that a tweet before you... Round any corners. I want, I want. I want the gun. No, I'm. I have the gun. Okay. You're not getting the gun. You're only fourteen. You're not getting the gun. I can have a gun. Come on. Come on, Dad. No. I proved I'm responsible. It's bad enough, your nine-year-old brother had the gun. The gun is mine. Okay. I guess. Freeze. Uh, Joe, leave. Uh, Wyatt, leave and come back. Oh, Dad, this is the best 16th birthday present ever. I can't believe you're going to let me drive a tank. Yeah, well, you blackmailed me, so here we are. <laughs> hey, I got your email saying I should be here right now. What's going on? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a little birthday present from Dad to me. Look... Roger, I'm sorry about this, but we're going to have to strap you to the barrel of this tank as he what? drives around town. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. No, either... you're sorry? Come on. Come on. Look, your brother, I'm not getting into this right now, okay? You're not. This is ridiculous. This is so unfair. This is so It's my birthday. It's my birthday, okay? You get to do all the cool stuff. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yes, on, you did. On your birthday? On your you birthday? I dressed up like a rapscallion from Pirates of the Caribbean, and you stabbed me like eight times. Yeah, but on my birthday, Dad let you go to third base with my girlfriend, which is bullshit. I had no choice. And neither Black did mail. he. Look, your little brother is, is kind of a maniac here, okay? There's nothing I can do about it. Look, when my 16-year-old sends me ransomware over email, of course I'm going to click on it. He's going to release was... that anyway. You know that, right? You realize that? You shouldn't have uploaded your nudes. You shouldn't have done that, Dad. You messed up, and now I have to be on the front of a tank. So how long are we talking? Five minutes? We're talking 10 minutes? 16. 16, 16 minutes. 16 minutes? 16 minutes. Please. Please. Everybody stay. Hello, folks. Welcome to Jimbo's party planning. We're excited to be able to plan your wife and mother's upcoming birthday party. Everybody sit down. Tell me about what you typically like to do at a birthday party. Bobby, do you want to take the floor here? Since uh, we don't have a choice. Oh, I like to blow stuff up. Um, I like to cause a lot of mayhem and uh, I like to get whatever package requires the most amount of insurance because we usually go a little overboard. You don't say that. Remember, you don't say that because then they charge us more. Right, yeah. Well, we have a, we have a number of military vehicles at our disposal. Uh, we could perhaps hang your mother from the missile bay of a jet fighter, if you like, for five or 10 or 15 minutes. 
Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, wait, pretty now fun. you're cool with 15? So now you're cool with 15? You made me do it for 16. This is stupid. Dad, tell him. This is stupid. 16 minutes. Happy birthday, son. Will be extra. Is that? Yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to have to reverse mortgage my house. Well, there are other options. Such as? Freeze. Everybody leave. Um, and then Charlie, come back in a second. Jimmy, Jimmy, let me introduce myself. So my name is Captain Weaver, and I am the hostage negotiator for this situation. Now listen, we know you have hostages. We know what you're willing to do. All right? But I just want to make it clear to you that everyone out here doesn't think you'd have the stones to do it. We think that you're a straight-up weenie. What? Yeah. A weenie? Straight-up weenie. Hold on one second. Ah! Would a weenie tear his pubes out? Um... I mean, that was kind of that was kind of stupid. Yeah, that was, I was kind of what a weenie would do. Yeah, and it was. I don't know why you chose to. Is you you trying to prove that you're a man right now? Is that what what this what this is? I mean, no. I'm trying to show you. I mean, business. That wasn't it. That definitely did not do that. That just proved that this is weird, and you're a weird person. And you are definitely your. You see this bullet? You see this bullet? Okay. Be what? Oh, that's not what I expected. Uh, um, do, do, hey, that's go off eventually. I think. Nope. That's not how. That's not how bullets work. That is not. Uh, oh. You're. You look very dumb. Everyone. Did you see this? Did you see? Stop Sorry. Laughing. Johnson's laughing Stop. over here. It's, it, you're making our sniper <laughs> laugh me. too much. You got to hold your position in case he moves. Oh, sorry, sorry, our sniper. Boss is such a nickaboom. <laughs> so, did you see? He just ate the bullet. Think it's going to go off. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> do, do something with the orange. Do something yeah, with yeah. the orange. You mean this orange? I was yeah. saving this for my lunch. <laughs> you could have an orange for lunch. <laughs> hey, hey, Gary, Gary, patch me in. Patch me in. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. This is Gary. G uh, Gary, you be the hostage negotiator. Okay, okay. Hey, can, hey, uh, hostage taker, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Gary from the sniper squad here. Do me a favor. Give that, take that, that scanning gun. Go ahead and put that in your mouth. Turn on the laser. Yeah. <laughs> Freeze. Uh, everybody leave and come come back when you want to. Jesus Christ. What is he doing with that orange? We haven't eaten in hours. Hey, stop yelling at him and bust down the door. <sighs> uh, to be honest with you guys, I didn't even want to eat the orange because... That makes my teeth feel fuzzy, you know? And if we're gonna be here for a while, I don't wanna eat the orange because then I'm gonna feel like, oh, I gotta brush my teeth. You know how dirty that barcode scanner probably was? You're gonna get a canker sore in a couple of days. Guys, I know it sounds really stupid, but I'm kind of worried, you know? Like, I mean, I don't want the terrorist to get hurt. He's not that bad of a guy. Yeah, you know? this is his first time. Yeah, and remember remember our first day working at this bank? Yeah. 
I mean, I didn't even know how to file a check right. I locked up in the vault you for like so an hour. You got so many paper cuts. <laughs> yeah, you were in the vault forever. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I was like, hey, guys, open the vault. And you guys did not open the vault to get me out. And I mean, and, and, and you, remember? Remember when you were like, is the safety on my gun? And I was like, you're the security guard. You should know this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and it accidentally went off. I know. <laughs> right. And we all make mistakes, kind of like how you, the security guard, literally let him walk in the building. Yeah. And he was well, clearly I, armed. You didn't check his back or anything. I thought, it was a, I thought it was a joke. Like, you know. Yeah. That's probably why you were laughing when he said, everybody get on the floor. Yeah. And then he said, give me your gun. And then you, you gave him your gun. I yeah. thought, good. Maybe it's not like a street art performance or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and well, art. What about Greg? Greg started dancing. He was like, get on the floor. He started doing the worm. And <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah. 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 And remember when when the security guard just like let him tie him up, even though he's the only one of us that is trained to literally yeah. stop that yeah. from happening. Yeah. yeah. Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> yeah, you've been here. This is you've been here five years and you've done all the training. Yeah. And this is the well, first time anything's ever gone down. And <laughs> here we I are. Put Remember when I cried and I looked at you and said, please, God, stop this. Do something, please. If there's ever a time to do it, do it now. And you just did nothing. He did nothing. He did nothing. I know. I put the excitement in excitement security solutions. <laughs> freeze. Joe, leave. Uh, Mateo, leave. Charlie, leave and come back. Hey, honey. How was um? How was being a kidnapper? Well, the uh... is this straight to you? you? I you... feel like it's straight. Is it yeah. weird that they let me go? I, um, they said that if I pooped and peed my pants, and that I could go home. Um. Yeah, no, that's that's typically um, kidnappers get shot or they go to go to to jail um, or they, the they only, get away. I ate the only real bullet yeah. I brought, and then they were like, "Yeah, ha, ha 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 ha!" They laughed at me. Is what I was. <sighs> I shouldn't quote the laughs because they were just laughing at me. Dad, Daddy, are you home from work? Yeah, kind honey, of, this kind of don't get close yeah. to Daddy. Daddy smells right now. You have my lucky bullet, Daddy. I uh, you. I'll have it. Oh, I'll have it in a few hours. You ate Kevin's <laughs> bullet. Oh. Why did? But I hey. want to. I can't fall asleep without it. Um. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess I'll try harder then. Okay. Love honey. you. Bye. Honey, oh. I just feel like maybe you're not a good kidnapper you're great at other things you're fantastic but you this is not something you just learn by trying it right so what am i good at i don't i don't know i have no idea okay we tried so many things we, we tried to be in that is disarming security guards because he didn't see me as a threat he didn't even see you as a threat he started laughing I said, hey, oh, can Jesus. I get your gun, please? And then he started laughing and he handed it to me. This is just like when you try being a priest. Do you remember that? And then you just started saying all the gods because you couldn't remember which god we were supposed to pray to. I figured one of them was right. Well, you were right, but it was very embarrassing. And then when you had the chorus, and they definitely should not sing Run DMC. That is definitely not it. And then you did, you started it doing- it was tasteful. It was Christmas time. Right. But then you started doing the Fuck the Police song, and it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot, and we still can't go back there. I think- you know, in the right context, in you know, the right context, would be really enjoyed in the house of worship. Honey, I don't know, honey. I, you know, how many times I apologized to God? I had so many prayer meetings, I can't even keep track of them. Okay, listen, we are running out of food, and with the rent is coming up, I need you to go back to that bank and I need you to get the money. And I need you to be a good hostage kidnap person, okay? Be a good also, kidnap. is 
Is this straight? I need to know. Freeze. Yes. Wyatt, leave. Oh man, believe me, I know exactly how you're what you're going through. All right, you've got it even worse than I did because you've got the internet. You're a meme. You're a viral video. Oh, Back when I was on the grassy knoll and I missed that shot, nobody knew. We Harvey Oswald took the blame for it. Dad, I've been thinking about turning you in for reward money because I got to feed my family. What? I've made it this far. It's either that or rob a bank or be a kidnapped person again. I didn't raise you to be a failure like your old man. I pushed you unreasonably hard so you could be better. So you could have all the things, all the notoriety, all the money, okay? All, all the leak. Cut, cut to Clark pushing uh, Charlie's character unreasonably hard. Dad! Shoot the bunny! I can't! It's not like the Bambi cartoon. Cut to a different instance. I don't want to throw it. Throw the grenade at Flipper. Cut to another instance. It's too much milkshake. You drink that milkshake, you drink it now. The creatine will make you big and strong like your old man. Yes, yeah, suck it. Cut back. You were a stone cold killer 10 years later. And you still look great. Look at you. Look at you. Look at those guns. Look at those guns. Why do you think that security guard handed you his right? He was, he was, he was laughing to stop from crying, son. He was, he was laughing and choking on his donut. And I think he mumbled, here you go, tough guy. Well... Sounds like we need to show them that you don't mess with our family, meaning you. I'm way past my prime. You have to do this. You don't want to go down in the history books as some unknown loser who appeared on a meme and a viral video and then did nothing else with his life, right? I mean, technically, you're an unknown loser. Everybody come back. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone to Shitty Criminals Anonymous. Thanks very much for being here. As you know, our goal is to prevent you from going down in history as a shitty criminal who will end up as a meme in the future. I see we have some new faces here tonight. So we'll begin with our first name and that we are a... Shitty criminal. Very well. Shitty, oh, I missed it. Oh, crap, I suck. <sighs> Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi. Hi. My name, my name is Andy Adams. Hi, Andy Adams. Hi, Andy. Hi, hi, Andy. Oh, hi, I'm Andy. a shitty criminal. You may know me from the meme on the internet. Um, <sighs> hi, Pants Adams. Stop. Stop. This is supposed to be a safe place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Space. Is that safe you? Space. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, dude. Do you know who this dude is? No. <laughs> That's the Andy from the meme with the thing and the... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Every time oh, oh, oh. sees me, they're like, oh, poop your pants and then sign them. <laughs> <laughs> like, Whoa, you dude, you suck. Around with that yeah. piece of pants? You suck, dude. You've been doing this a long time. You dude, suck. You played, you played Hungry Hungry Hippos and lost, and then they released another hostage because you lost. Pick a game you're good at, bro. Dude, I went to jail for stealing a kid's nose. And <laughs> I'm better than you. You suck, dude. You suck, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Freeze. Uh, every, uh, sorry, uh, Joe and Clark leave. Honey, this is it. We're not going to make rent. We're running out of food. Our only hope, our only hope right now is just to pray that something happens. 
So what I want you to do is just pray with me. Can you do that? Can you not mess that up? Okay. Let's see if that seminary school worked. Dear Mr. God or Mrs. God, or God, God, um, if you help my family through this, I will poop my pants. Okay, um, let's just do an amen. Let's just, that's our show. Ah!